So this is the Nelly Lattice Tower I've been uh, reconditioning. It's made by Nelly. Well, it used to be made by Nelly. Nelly have gone out of business here in Victoria. Lattice Tower, it's about 14 and a half metres when it's fully extended. Let's have a bit of a look at what we've done uh, to reco it. So, new pull cable, which goes up, runs through here, around, comes around through a pulley down there, and then goes back down here to this bracket down here. This bracket had this winch on it that I'd had to chop off. It's just um, an old manual winch, but it's now been converted so an electric winch will fit on here or a manual winch, whatever grabs your fancy, but that'll fit on there. Uh, that cable up the end there will come down, wrap around the winch, and that's what will extend the tower. So that's all pretty good. Looking around, it's really good condition, this tower. It's um, only light use. Galvanizing still really good, no rust spots. This is the, uh, the part that connects to that pole that I reconditioned the other day. So this is the pivot, it's the pole sits on there, and this slips in and holds the tower in position. Coming up, two stage, as you can see the other stage inside. So this is the business end, rotator bolts onto here, multi pattern, CDE, Yasu, you know, whatever, it sits on there. This has been added, so what happens is if you don't add something here, the pole comes down and there's still a little bit of stress between this point here and this point here and the bearing on top of the uh, tower. So, well, this one has a, it hasn't got a bearing, this one. It's just a pole that comes straight out. You can put a bearing on there if you want, but the pole slips in there. By putting this in here, it just takes any force of a large antenna twisting on that and putting a whole lot of pressure on your rotator. So, not necessary. Well, it is, in my eyes, it's necessary. It just adds a little bit more security and strength to it. But uh, like I said, really good tower this one. She's an absolute cracker. These bits are just getting a little bit of um, uh, rust on them. So getting neutralized and then it'll be all sprayed up and painted up. That's the winch that's going on, 3,000 pound. More than enough to pull this section up. Um, I'll give it a flip over and we'll look at the locking device for the second section. So this is this bit here. The bottom. And... Uh, there we go here we are back with the tower project this is the brake like I mentioned before I can't get full travel because the other sections um, blocking at the moment but what happens is when the tower goes all the way up this bottom section down here runs up comes to this point here this falls down and the bottom of the tower sits on here and locks into position stops it from putting any stress on the cable when it's in the um, extended position so just a little bit of security rather than just putting all the uh, the weight on the cable there's actually a locking device here it's done down here with a uh, with just a bit of string bit of rope you pull it but like I said because the tower is already in position it um, it won't go into the locking position what happens is um, when you wind the tower up, it actually just pushes that and just runs past this locking flap here. And then, like I said, when it gets to that position, it flops over and the tower sits inside that flat and then beautiful. This is just a, um, a shackle to stop the two towers coming apart during transportation. Sometimes you can pick it up and this section can slide forward and lean out and um, uh, just become out of balance and just becomes a pain in the bum. But anyway, so... There it is, this is this side of it. Coming down, bracketry, rotator, the uh, first stage lock, coming back. This is your uh, wire rope to crank up the first stage. You release strings for your brake, coming down, and then it comes down to the um, winch bracket so there you go around here there's the winch bracket there nice and thick winch sits on there and you can either have a hand winch you can convert it back to a hand winch if you want in that case you'd have to offset it to one side a little bit so you can actually have the crank handle going but that doesn't matter or the electric winch which is 
perfectly fine for this stage. Anyway, so there you go. Australian built Nelly Lattice Tower. Very desirable, nice strong steel. Pretty good tower. Well, probably the, uh, the best that we've got out here in Australia. Good luck doing your own tower. Next video, I think I'm actually going to make myself a three-stage tower, so stay tuned. Have a bit of a look. I've, um, I've made one tower before, the one that... Um, uh, this one over the back that the quarter's on. That's a homemade tower. So the next one I'm going to make a three-stage tower, I think. So this one will be uh, going to a new home. New pole, fully reconditioned, all good. So here's the final video in the rebuild of the Natalie Lattice Tower. She's all uh, all done now, ready to go to a new owner. Here's the cable. These have all been upgraded to 6mm. They're all brand new. They uh, originally were 5mm. The sheaves have been greased um, and replaced where needed, like on the other pole. The other pole has got a brand new cable on the winch as well. Coming down here, this is the winch cover. I don't like to leave the 12 volt winches out in the rain. So this is a really good winch, 3,000 pound. Does a great job. Hooks up with some um, plugs. Then for this one, I normally take a battery pack around. I have had them before where I, um, I had the battery on the ground and a maintenance battery charger. So she's all good. Six mil cable on there. Uh, there's a lead that goes between the battery and the plug and it's got a, um, a up and down switch on it so you just crank it up and lower it down but uh, there she is all finished and all ready for its new home the uh, Nelly two-stage lattice tower fully reconditioned so absolute cracker ready for a, uh, a lot more use a lot more radio use